It's not something that, that loses value. It doesn't get tatty, it gains patina and it gains history. It's like, it's like when you buy a good quality piece of furniture. Good quality furniture in an antique shop gains patina. If you get a piece of Ikea, it just becomes kindling. We have got probably the, the king of the Merkel stable and any gun manufacturer stable, their pride and joy if they make them is always the, the double rifle. It's often been adapted in, into a mass production rifle. It's never ever been very successful. The only way to make a, a traditional rifle is in the traditional way with craftsmen. And in Seoul, in Merkel factory, they still retain the craftsmen and the engravers to needed to make such a wonderful rifle hunting system as a traditional double. This is something that most deer stalkers, most hunters, even if they never going to go on a wild boar hunt or on a big African safari, still like the idea and the romance of a double rifle. Beautifully balanced, easily shot. This one's an 8x57. They do them in various calibres, right the way up to 470 Nitro for those chaps who are looking for something to go on the buffalo hunt. The bigger guns come in starting price around £10,000. A lot of money I know for most people, but in the world of double gun making, if you went to an English gun maker, you'd be looking at £150,000. So it puts it in sort of perspective. You can still get a handmade gun at a reasonable price. And it's a beautiful bit of kit, well balanced, mounts nicely, moves, and if something was coming towards you, it gives you that backup of a, a double trigger. You're not relying on an inertia system. It's there instantaneous, and you know it's, it's just 100% reliable. Great bit of kit, and gives you a certain pride of ownership when you've got something like this. This is my own personal rifle, yes. I've got some more coming into stock this year for 2021. Alternatively, it'll be a year's wait, and you can have the hunting rifle that you desire made for you to your spec with your engraving and your stock dimensions. You're investing in, in heritage and quality and that's what you get from Seoul in the handmade department of the, of the factory there. I appreciate the work that's gone into it and I really get more enjoyment out of hunting with a, with a rifle like this because you you're not just shooting animals, you are hunting. You have to get within a realistic range to, to make a humane shot on a deer. It's a reconnection, isn't it? It's getting back down to basics again and learning that field craft. You're not relying on great optics and superb accuracy. What you're relying on is your field craft and your Mark I Leopold eyeball. You have one of those? I do, I have two. <laughs> And because they're getting old, that's why I rely on the, the more modern Leopold optics as I get older. But I still like to go back into the field occasionally. Normally during the rut, I bring this gun out and I'll sit there and do a little bit of squeaking and get a couple of um, deer that will be harvested and put in the freezer.